Today we are heading out of Lisbon. And we are heading to the town of Sintra. It's about an hour train ride. Sintra is apparently full of a bunch of beautiful castles, so we're excited to check it out. We've made it to Sintra and now we are just gonna head onto the bus. It's very busy on the bus. <laughs> So we're starting things off in Sintra here at the Penna Palace. Tickets to get into the palace grounds were 750 euros and if you want to go inside of the actual palace it's 14 euros. We opted to just get the ticket for the palace grounds. Because you can get a nice view of the palace from the palace ground as well. So we thought that would be perfect for us. And it's a beautiful, beautiful garden here. Mm -hmm. I hope I'll be The palace was super cool and now we are just going to check out the rest of the palace grounds. I like a city with a balance of near the water but also has a lot of green. And definitely in Lisbon we haven't seen a lot of trees. So today in Sintra, so happy. The palace grounds are seriously so cool. It feels like we're in like some sort of forest or something. Yeah, I feel like I'm in Jumanji. Yeah. Next level. <laughs> Anyways, we're just gonna keep exploring here for a little bit before heading off to our next destination. We are back down by the train station and now we are just going to head into the main town area to find some food. We are all finished with our lunch and now we are heading to Quinto de I forgot the name. Regalia. We have made it to Quinta da Regalia, which is like a giant mansion made in the 16th century by some very rich dude. And I think there's some tunnels or something like that as well. Yeah, it's like a really cool deep tunnel that you can walk all the way down. So we're just gonna check this place out. Mm -hmm. So for those of you that have played Super Mario Land 2, the six golden coins, this castle looks very similar. I think Wario lives inside of there. <laughs> Only explanation.
This place is like insanely massive. We've been walking around for so long and I feel like we've seen like 5%. <laughs> and everywhere you look, there is an amazing view from up here. So we went on this like 10 minute hike looking for this well. Somebody said to go up. So we kept going up. So we kept going up. And apparently we missed the turn off for the well. And then we just kept going up. But then we were like realized after we got up that that was definitely the wrong way. Came back down and we found it. Yay! Let's go. It's a very deep well. We made it down the well and now we are in the cave. These caves are so cool. Guys, these tunnels are insane. It's like super cool. There's basically like a labyrinth down here. You definitely have to come check it out. It's echoing so much. Let's keep going and check out the rest of these tunnels. No slip and fall. The caves were so cool, but it was so dark inside, so I don't know how well it like translated onto video or if any of it is usable at all, but just know that the caves here at Quintada Regalia, Regalia. Regalia are really cool. Like, just so cool. And now I think we are gonna just head out of here and head back to the train station to head back to Lisbon. Finally made it back to Lisbon after a 40 minute train ride. We had a, such a fun day in Sintra. What do you think about Sintra? I thought it was really cool. All of the castles are really nice, even the ones that you don't go to because you can see them from like far away. And definitely the last place we went, the Quinta da Regalia, that one was super cool. The grounds were amazing, the actual mansion was cool, and the tunnel was super, super fun. That was so fun. <laughs> so I would definitely recommend uh, checking out Sintra for a day trip if you're here in Lisbon. It's actually really quick, and the train ride was really comfortable actually, so definitely I, I recommend it too. And now we are feeling a little peckish, so let's go and grab some food. That was the perfect way to end our day. The bifanas were super, super good and the price was pretty sweet. It was like $16.20 for two meals and our drinks. So really, really cheap. And now we are gonna head back to our Airbnb and call it an early night because we have a super early day tomorrow. We gotta get up at around 4 a.m. to head to the airport because we're heading to Madrid. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you can follow us on our adventures in Madrid. Bye. See you guys there. <laughs>